Hi everyone, today we're going to do a project and we're going to do a sneak peek of the new Pink by Design stamps that are coming out next week. Um, I have Sure Cuts a lot opened because we're going to use a product, um, a project from svgcuts.com. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Import SVG up at the top, which is this little orange button. And then I'm going to go to my desktop and open up my SVG files. Okay, from here I'm going to choose the Apple bookworm bag. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to choose the Apple. Actually first let's open up the interior of the bag because that's the biggest part and I can see a little preview on this side and I'm going to click open and that will show up on the mat and then I'm going to go ahead and add another mat because this is obviously takes up a lot of space. And add another mat, page two, click OK. Then I'm going to import the rest of the SVG files. So the Apple, open that, move it on the mat, open the other part, which is the glasses top, which will be kind of little. And to move these, just click on it. Whoops. Make sure you're clicking on the right one. glasses top and then the glasses bottom. I'm going to put these in different spots on my mat so that I can cut them out in different colors. And then we have the leaf. Whoops! I keep clicking on the wrong one. I do that with my gypsy too actually. And then the tag. This has a lot of cute elements in it. They did out, outdid themselves in designing this one. Okay, and then the worm, which the glasses go on the worm, so it's going to be so cute. Okay, so now that we have all of our parts, we're ready to cut with this with this one. So we'll just plug it into our computer, like the Make the Cut one that I did earlier for you um, a couple weeks ago, and then we'll just click Cut. Okay, now that all the pieces are cut out, um, I've, also, I've also put terrifically tacky tape on the parts of the box that are going to go together. I saved you guys the hassle of having to watch that because it's such a hard thing for me. I can never get those, those silly things off, the red part off of there. So I don't want to make you guys have to sit through the agonizing thing. If anyone has any um, pointers on how to do it quick, let me know because I would love to know. Okay, so, um, like I said, they usually have their boxes, SVG Cuts usually has their boxes and 3D items put together so well and designed on their page that it makes, it takes the guesswork out of putting it together. All of their folds are perfect and it makes it so easy to put things together. So, you just fold it where there's creases and then the lines match up exactly to where they need to go. So, you, there's, like I said, no guesswork at all. Okay, so we're going to put this other part on. That was the one thing with making 3D items is sometimes it's so difficult to figure it out how it's supposed to go together. You just look at all the pieces and you're like, I have no idea. Well, at least that's how I was. But this took me like two seconds to figure out. And there's always pictures too on their site if you, always for any, if you forget to look or you forget what it's supposed to look like. You can also download those and keep those in a separate folder. Okay, so now that our main box is put together, we're going to do the apple part, which is the fun part. So this is going to go on the front of that, and then we're going to put the apple, the other part of the apple on the back. So let's put some glue on this little guy. Let's put some at the top too. Okay. I'm just using the HEG for that. Then we'll center it over here. Okay. Now that we have the two apple pieces on, and we know that our box is going to stand up perfectly, we can start adding to this little box. So we have the worm, which is going to go right here. Okay, so we're just going to put his little glasses on. I've already put the glasses on top of the little eyeballs, so you didn't have to wait for that. And then we're going to draw his little eyes in. So just a black pen. And you can make them as big or as small as you want, just so he has some eyes. Okay. And that's going to go down here at the bottom. 
So I'm going to pop dot him with some dimensionals. There he is. And we're just going to put him right here at the bottom of the apple. Isn't he cute? Oh my god, he's so cute. Okay. So, now that we have that, we're going to put our leaf on. And the stem's going to be coming out of this. Okay. So there's that part of the apple. Now we just need our cute little tag, which I cut out in yellow, but I'm going to ink it up a little so it's not so yellow. And then we'll tie this on, add a sentiment, and that's it. So be, look for the finished product at the end of the video. That's it. How easy is that? Thanks, everyone, for watching.